Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be talking about the bleeding edge effect on the iPad 2. So as most of you know, people have been complaining about this sort of whitish light that comes up around the edges that uh, is really annoying, and it basically goes over the picture or the image that you're on. Again, if you have a black picture or if you're watching a movie where it has those bars on the side right there, and people have been complaining that it is extremely annoying and that it's a defect, I'm just here to say that basically it is not a defect and I will show you why. So I have a first generation iPad here. As you can see, there is no camera on the front or the back. Uh, so it's just the first one. And this one is an iPad 2 because there's a camera on there somewhere. You can't really see it right now, but I'll just go ahead and open up the camera app. And as you can see now, there is the camera. And there's also a camera on the back as well. So it's right there. I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys some demonstrations of it really quick. So I have uh, the brightness up all the way on these. As you can see, the brightness is up right there. And on this iPad too, the brightness is all the way up as well. So I just went inside of the Photos application, and I also want to show you guys something that I found that was extremely interesting with the first iPad. The screen on the first iPad is actually completely horrible when you compare it to the iPad 2. But first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and close the door behind me so we are in complete darkness here. All right. So I have the iPad 2 on my right hand side here and as you can see that white right there that is what I was talking about. The white that comes up around the entire screen right there. People have been complaining about that and saying it is a defect but that's definitely not a defect because I will turn down the light and show you guys that it basically uh, starts to go away when the light is turned down. I mean, you can still see it a little bit, but it's definitely not as bad as when you turn the light all the way up. It's not no unnormal at all. It is extremely common and most iPads have it. In fact, every single iPad that I've ever seen has it. So uh, that's just the first thing. The second thing is this image right here. These are the same images taken from the same exact website. So I'm going to go over to Safari and show you guys that it is this black image. So uh, this image, when you save it and you go inside of the Photos app, it turns out to be this. It looks blotted out. And I made sure that I downloaded it three separate times. And here it is every time, except uh, this one was one from a different website. But uh, I just figured that that was pretty interesting. Now this one, it actually actually is worse than uh, the iPad 2 over here. As you can see, it is extremely bad right there. It just looks god awful and it is completely worse than the iPad 2. So there you go, I just wanted to show you that and also I'm going to give you another demonstration on the iPad 2 over here. I'm going to go inside of the camera app and uh, it is on the front facing camera and you can see it right there as well, it pops up. So, I mean, uh, it is not normal, however, some people have been complaining about it, but I'm just here to say that, again, it's just what it is, and uh, that's just how it's made, and also, too, a lot of iPhones and iPod Touches have that as well. So, I just wanted to let you guys know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to rate this video up, and also hit the subscribe button up there if you aren't already subscribed. Until next time, this is ACU, signing out.